Hello you guys. I have been uh, working with Fusion for a time now and I've modeled this Sidhu Bay. So this is the first looks of how it could look. So I have details like this and yeah, you can see all the details I've managed to put into the, the model support frame it's very much like uh, FDS but not exactly for example you can see that the holes here in the side matches that and I have a lot of features that matches the the real thing so I have modeled the CDUs so I can so they fit in the, the assembly I have uh, mod modeled front and a screen and uh, like that and if i start to remove things for example the front cover you can see in the side here and here and if i remove the side panels and the back co cover or the mid support and also the desus rails the cdu and here we have the desus and of course the, the CDU fits perfectly over the Desus rails and the holes are there for the Desus rails. So if I put this on again, you can see the holes for the Desus rails. And if I remove the Desus rails, you can see the assembly for the screen. This is 10.1 or 10.6 screen I saw on Amazon. So I've modeled a mount for this so it can be adjusted up and down and uh, standard uh, standard visa mount 75 and 100. So it's just slotted holes and you can move this up and down and this sideways and uh, also you can move it uh, yeah you can fasten it and how it's supposed to work is i will set uh, countersunk screws into these holes and these holes and this uh, and i will put ribbon nuts in this part uh, and so you can see here i will put rivet nuts so when the countersunk screw goes into the rivet nut it locks and uh, this part so it can't move up and down and uh, the same goes for this I will put ribbon knots here in this hole and there that way you can lock the position of the screen so it's a screen this is the screen mount uh, then this is a frame I made for the screen to to fit in the with the, with the screen I will probably buy from uh, Amazon. So this is the whole assembly of just this CDU frame. And um, and yeah, you can see I can move this all the all the ways. So very nice. I will of course yeah I missed some things this this should not be moving but I will fix that so here we have the the assembly and uh, yeah, you can see I've grounded these two parts and yeah you can see so how it can move and if we put pick this as part two I can uh, put put away just this and you can see the screen. The screen mount uh, is basically a aluminium part with uh, standoffs, and under here I will put uh, the PCBs that comes with the screen for the HDMI and so on, and it's the M2 standoffs. And so basically, you could um, uh, you could remove the whole screen uh, assembly. And here is the finished part that you can put on, on that is in the CDU bay. And here is standard visa amount 75 and 100 millimeters. 
and you can see that it can be moved in sideways it can can be moved up 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 and down and uh, also the these will lock the up and, and the up and down position will be locked and uh, the side will be locked with the screws from this way so basically this is how the screen mount uh, looks and this is basically screen so you, so you can put you can put any screen in this position any VSA mount screen so doesn't have to be a 10 in 0.6 inch but as you can see it's barely exactly what I I can fit in the uh, in the CDU bay so uh, yeah as you can see if we put back uh, uh, the bodies and uh, front cover and uh, DSUS rail and DSUS rail and CDU and mid support. It's basically a finished, uh, it's not restricted. I don't know why this is, why, why I can remove this from this because it should, should not be possible to remove this. But I can remove this screen and then I can can uh, move the mounting so this is yeah uh, and uh, I don't know how I reset the position for that but but uh, anyway so it will fit perfectly in in the CDU and you can see the side 96.3 degrees or something or 93.6 or whatever that is for the lower light panel so starting to come along